Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery Budgie. My name is Gina and this is Miss Callie Cat. Y'all, today we have a Drape Fit box. Drape Fit is a try before you buy clothing subscription. You pay $20, that is not credited back to you. You look at everything, you see, <laughs> she just tucked her head into my arm. You see what you like, you try it on, you put it on with your clothes in your wardrobe. You decide what you wanna buy, you go, you check out online see what you want to exchange, all that good stuff. Send what you don't want back. You're done. You got new clothes. It's super easy. Now, this one, I have been playing with my um, limit with it, uh, the clothing. I started at the bottom, bottom tier, but I started upping my price range to see if I would get a better quality clothes. And I have actually got some name brand clothes for some better prices so this is a budget friendly version of these try before you buy clothing boxes um now the lower prices I, like i said i always say I, there's a place for everything the less expensive clothes that maybe aren't the best of qualities they're not as high as stitch fixer or uh trends and things like that I, they have a place in my wardrobe too that's the stuff I like to wear around the house. Stuff that if the cats tear it or if I splash bleach on it or something, I'm not going to cry about it. So, yeah, I feel like everything has its place in this world. More like when I go to the farm and I don't want to tear a $70 pair of jeans. So, let's see. Um, I do get sent this box for review, so instead of the $20 fee, I pay $1 and they do give me a $20 gift card just so you know but i still tell you how i feel about it you know if i think it's junk i'm gonna tell you it's junk if i think it's great i'm gonna tell you it's great but i always want y'all's opinion on what you're thinking of everything they send you five pieces you have five days to try everything on if you keep five all five pieces you get 25 percent off and i do have a referral link below but i don't know if you get anything for it uh, I really need to look at that. And they don't give you sneak peeks, y'all. No. You have to just open it. There's no sneakity peeks. There is a bag in the bottom. That is your return bag. It is pre-labeled. It's got my price sheet, a little brochure about them. And it then also has my uh, note for my stylist. It says, hi Gina, I'm Paulette and I'm your stylist for your seventh fix box. I picked out a cute green tiered maxi sleeve dress. I also chose a pair of black front tie casual pants that can be paired with your white and black floral blouse. I also chose a pair of red bootcut casual pants that can be paired with your green mint sleeveless floral top. Lastly, I chose a pair of blue denim Bermuda shorts that can be paired with your blue v-neck short sleeve blouse. We also sent you a special gift card from us to your provided email address. I hope you are delighted and I can't wait to read your feedback. Please feel free to take a photo of you in your new outfit and either email them to support drape fit, uh, you know, their email address or you can share them on Instagram be safe and have a stylish day all right so everything is totaled to two hundred and three dollars and twenty cents of course I would get discount um, the 25% discount that would take my total to 152.40 so the total is about what I like for a box normally for a stitch fix box so um of course stitch fix can't always hit that low of a price so you know it just depends on what you're buying so here's my box or my stuff let's see how am i going to do this with callie in my lap these are show show they are a large 95 polyester and five spandex hand wash cold and hang to dry they are ooh, a thin black pant. These are the front tie pants. I may have you too close and I won't be able to hang it down because of where Callie is. Hmm. 
they do look kind of skinny don't always love this particular material this belt is attached on even though it does look like it has comes out of a belt loop it's just attached i don't i don't know if i'm gonna love these but we'll try them on and we'll see how they do they just look so thin i could see the whole ring light through them so I need to tell you what that was. Women's Knitways tie paper bag pants, large, which is a 10 to 12, black, $29.75. I think I could get a better pair of black pants somewhere else for that price. Just my personal opinion. This is Drape Fit brand. It's a large. It's cute. It's a twist top. No, it's not a twist. It's just made with elastic -y. It is stitched for modesty. I mean, this is kind of cute. Uh, these might get on my nerves. They might tickle, you know. Uh, I do see a stray string. I don't know how I feel about this top. I'll have to see what it looks like on. Because it's long in the back. And then it's got this twist elasticy thing in the front. <laughs> oh, let me see what it says. It's 100 polyester. Made in Vietnam. It's in a medium. Uh, machine wash cold. Tumble dry low. This is drape fit. Drape layer front tie top. It says it's in large. White twenty six dollars and ninety nine cents. I don't have high hopes for this one either. Just because of that, the way it's made in the the front, they don't always hang just right on me. Stitched up like that. Bermuda shorts. It's kind of getting late in the year for Bermuda shorts. These are Lucky Brand. They are washed to death and they look tea tiny. Tea tiny. They say they're a 12 to 14, but I promise you they look like children's 12 to 14. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to fit in these, y'all. Uh, they are super washed. These pockets in the front are fake. The pockets in the back are real. I don't like this wash. It's just not my favorite. The button is real, but there is no zipper. No zipper. Yeah. Um, they do have a button on the inside with some elastic, which is interesting. I think the elastic could be cinched up. And put in another button <laughs> that's interesting um seems like i've seen these bef something like that before but not in a very long time you know i just don't think my thighs are gonna fit in those y'all just i don't have high hopes for this one either these are the lucky brand denim bermuda shorts light blue $23.99. I mean, that would be a good price for some lucky shorts if I liked them and thought I could fit in them. Callie, don't make a mess, baby girl. This is Reb in J. R E B I N J. 220. I mean, it's soft, it does tie in the front. Has a little bit of a ruffle here. Interesting material. Hey, Miss Cali Cat. I don't like that you can see the white where the tie is. Or the lighter color of material. That is not always my favorite. To me, that just takes a little from it. But I like the feel of the material. Um... This is the floral sleeveless top. It's a 10, which is a size large, mint green, $26.50, 95 polyester, 5 spandex, hand wash, hang or line dry. 
Love each other as I have loved you. John 15, 12. This shirt has a Bible verse on it. I like it a lot better now. <laughs> this is just something I you don't see very often. Interesting. I was looking at this. It just looks a little shiny. Like there's plastic under there, but it doesn't feel like the plastic. I think that's just the way it's stitched on or the string maybe the type of string they used I don't know it's a little weird interesting I'm curious to see what this is gonna look like on hmm. all right red pants have they I, they look familiar y'all do these not look too small Am I just crazy? All right, they say they're large. These are your Letty pants, large. Ladies, four pocket Ponte pants, color red. And these are the boot cuts. I do like a red pant, I do like a boot cut. I don't always love these polyester -y fill in ones. Um, well, there's, there's 65 round, 30 nylon, five spandex. Machine wash cold, tumble dry, low. Women's high rise flare boot cut pants, large red, $39.99. I can't see them fitting me. I just can't see them. I mean, they could stretch enough. But they would feel more like sleep pants or, or workout pants than they would a going out type of pant for me. But they look fairly well made. I mean, Yaletti is not always my favorite brand. I don't see four pockets though. Didn't it say four pockets? <laughs> Ladies four pocket Ponte pan. There's not one pocket on here. I'm so confused. Alright. See on here they say high rise flare boot cut pant. But the tag's wrong. That's kind of funny. This is very beachy feeling. That linen-y type feel to it. I don't always love. This is an H&M top. Looks a little wide. But I wonder how to hang. It's a V-neck. This is a size large. Sorry, I was holding it up while I was yawning. <laughs> Made in India. 55 viscose, 45 cotton. You cannot dry it. You would need to iron it. No baby girl. Not while well, I got this stuff in my lap. Such a spoiled kitty. Summer V-neck blouse, 12 large blue, $25.99. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I love it, though. And this is, I guess, what she called the sleeved dress. It's like a cold shoulder. Which is cute. I've just been having a lot of trouble with these dresses fitting me up here. And it is tiered. Kind of yellowy green. It does have a slip underneath. Built in. This is indigo rose, size large. So it's double layered up at the top as well. It's got a little gathering at the middle. The shelf is 65 polyester, 35 round. The lining is 100% polyester. Machine wash, cold, tumble dry low. Warm iron if needed. So sometimes I like these like this. It does look kind of cute. The straps are adjustable, by the way. This is, is it made twisted? Yeah, 
it's made twisted so that would drive me crazy I was seeing that it was sticking out funny so I looked at it and it's actually sewn to be twisted in there not intentionally <laughs> that was just a mess up on somebody's part I don't know if y'all can tell there we go and then I'd be afraid those would break oh, there I go yawning again hmm Okay, I've gotten better boxes. I mean, yeah, I did recognize a few of the names, H&M, Lucky Brand, but I mean, they're okay. Do I think I would go out and buy these particular pieces? Probably not. Do I think they're overpriced? Not horribly, especially when you take into consideration this is a delivery service, even though they're going to keep your $20 no matter what. Um, would I pay $163.17? That's after tax and everything. For these clothes? No, because I don't love them enough. Um, you never know. That could change once I try everything on. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today, and then I'm going to try these clothes on. I'll see you back in a minute. So here's my outfit for today. I've got this top I got from Stitch Fix. It's a luxe top and then these capri pants that are rolled up even though they're not supposed to be. I think I got them from City Blues. Um, well, they are City Blues. I don't know where I got them from. I'll look it up. These I have on are from Rock's Box. The ones I wore before I changed into these the, were from Tord. I don't know where I got this stuff, y'all. <laughs> I just don't know. These are real stones. This might have been from Mint Mongoose. I can't remember. Let's try on the clothes. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I mean, it's not bad. I just don't know how I feel about the color and the cold shoulder of it. At least I was wearing the right bra for it today. Um, I mean, I think it's cute in some ways. on something the tag See, it seems like it I still feel like I got too much top for it like it's just bulging too much if I untie it then I feel very risky <laughs> because of the way it was hanging in the back I mean I could tie it looser See, I'm just not sure about it, though. I mean, as tear dresses go, this is probably one of the ones I like better. Even though I probably would have to steam or iron or something. Hmm. And I've tried a lot of tear dresses on. And there's not been one that I was just like, oh, so cute. I gotta think on this one. Let's go to the next outfit. I mean, it makes a decent outfit. But it is pulling here. It's pulling here. I mean, I could probably untie it and make it not cool. Probably just tie it a little tight for my arms. Because I didn't untie them. Um, I'm not in love with it. I feel like this is going to bulge and do this peek a boo <laughs> and this uh, well it'll do that because there's just no way with the way the front does that I can pull it over me but <laughs> so it's just gonna have to do that because this is one of you know it's fake it's made fake and I don't love the ones that are made fake like this I don't like the pants either I feel like it's they're pulling tight enough on me that the pockets are going to be funny. Um, I mean, they're just, they're kind of like a legging that ties in the front. You know, I don't love that. 
So we're going to go the next outfit, but they do come up high enough. It's just not for me. All right, so I could probably make do with this outfit, but I feel like the pants are just a little tight. Um, they definitely feel like they're making stuff pooch out. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe if they were a size bigger, but they're pretty long on me. So... I feel like I would be walking on them unless I wore a heel or something with them. If I wore a heel with them, I think they'd be fine. But I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing these as anything but around the house type things. What are you doing, Kat? The top is very soft. And if I'm going to keep something out of the box, it would probably be this top. Just to keep something. Um... You know, the tie isn't always my favorite, but the thing about these ties is you can always tuck them in and just wear the shirt without the tie, which I like better, personally. Not with these pants, with denim or something. <laughs> but it's a soft top and it's cute. It does have a little more of the flirty flowy that I don't always love, but I don't hate it on here. And I like how it feels. I hope it won't peel. It's the only thing. I wonder if it would peel after being washed. Hmm. I don't know. And by the way, the buttons are fake. <laughs> so even though it does look like it would pull a little, it's fake. So not really. Um, Y'all let me know what you think. I'm going to try the last outfit on. So I put my jeans back on. I kid you not, y'all. Those shorts, I could get up to about right here. They're definitely a kid size. There's no way that an adult's supposed to fit in those. Just no way. I actually like this top a lot better than I thought I would. I, I gave it a tuck just so you could see what it looks like like that. But I think it looks good untucked too. I mean, it could be a little smaller, but it does give it a nice, loose, airy feel that I'm not hating, which is unusual because normally I don't care for these type of tops. If I did somehow do a little clinch in the back, which sometimes I will do that y'all, I will cheat and I will, you know, have you ever seen those little clips and it's got like a clip, a claw clip on each side and a little elastic in the middle and you can put them on your shirts like this and kind of suck them in, especially if you're wearing a jacket or something over the top or in my case, maybe sit in front of a camera where you're not turning around. <laughs> They're great for that. Or, you know, sometimes I will just tie it, which is normally what I do. If I'm gonna do something, if I feel like I want it a little tighter looking, tie it in the back, nobody's gonna see it and it gives me a little more shape. But, I mean, honestly, I'd love to know. I can't remember what this if this has an actual tuck. If this tuck has a name where you just stick a little bit of it in your pockets just to give you a little shape. It's like, what did I call it? The slub tuck or something? I'm going to coin a new term, y'all. Yeah, right. But I actually, I don't mind this one. Uh, so let's do a recap and see what we think. Yeah, so I was sitting here, I haven't told you about this yet, I was sitting here getting ready to get up and film for y'all, and all of a sudden I heard all this creaking and cracking, and I look out, and there is a limb falling from the tree that is above my pool, and I go into panic mode, it gets caught in the tree. Doesn't fall on the pool, but it's still like three stories higher <laughs> than I can get, or even my husband with the ladder can get. So, because it's a really, really big tree. And now I am going to go out of town all stressed out if that is going to fall into my pool and tear my lining. Well, maybe getting a new pool lining. It was getting time anyway. So let's go back through these clothes. These were laughably small. There was no way I was going to fit in these. I mean, it's not a junior size. If it is, it's no junior I know. 
I mean, even in a large, it just, they seem so small. Like I said, I barely got them above my knees, but I tried to put them on for you just so I could say, ain't no way form or fashion. Y'all, this is like a sleeve for me, okay? <laughs> I know it's craziness oh my goodness this this was just insane um so it is going straight back into the bag to go back just i'm just doing it right now y'all because i gotta get it sent out tonight because if i go out of town and go get it shipped out before i go out of town it might not get shipped back <laughs> Um, this one I actually was a little surprised by. I'm going to watch it back and look and see how big it looked on me. Because I do feel like it was a little on the big side. But I feel like I could make it work. And it would be a nice cool shirt to wear in the summer. Now that summer is almost over. See, I've already got my fall decorations out and everything. I'm in debate on this one. Um... Oh, Callie, will you hand me my price sheet? That didn't work. I tried. <laughs> I had to try. $25.99. So, if I keep it, technically, I'll be paying like $5.99 for it. So, I'll, I might. We'll see. It's a possibility. We'll put it over here to the side because it's a possibility. These... I feel like if they had not been as tight that I might have considered keeping them. I didn't even touch her, y'all, and I've got fur on me. There's no hope. Um, how much were these? For $40, uh, I'm not going to keep them for $40. I'm not going to exchange them for $40. I don't like them enough for that, and I could get... A pair of red denim probably for $40 at Maurice's or somewhere so these are gonna go back these black ones I didn't care for I don't like the tie in the front I didn't like that they're a little bit of a rougher not very rough but just enough to be just an you know a different type of material than I'm used to they're not like a they're more like a I can't think of what it I'm trying to say I mean, they say polyester and spandex, but that's not what they feel like, you know? They they feel more like a linen, like a, a rough, thin linen, but not like this one. This one is, is softer than this. But it's gonna go back. It's just gonna go back. I'm not even... What are you doing, cat? I'm in daddy's room. And this is cat. <laughs> His office. Um... This one, I mean, if this had been a true wrap and not this fake type, I might have liked it better. And, I mean, these tie things, they do kind of drive you crazy. They, they tickle your arms, they get caught on things, or at least I know I get them caught in everything. But I liked the pattern of it, and I liked that it was a v-neck and it had the modesty stitch, but I'm going to send it back. Alright, last two things the dress and this top um i just had that price sheet here it is it fell the dress i mean part of me liked it and part of me didn't i feel like the top part if it had had a little more material to where this here could have come a little more down and it wasn't pulling so far forward from the back then i might have went ahead and kept it but with me having questions about it, I don't even want to pay 30 even though I liked it better than a lot of other tear dresses that I have been sent. And that's saying some. I've been sent a lot of them. This is the last thing, and this is the, this was the tie front floral sleeveless top in mint green, $26.50. I don't know. I'll either keep this one or I'll keep that one. Let me know what you think if I send it back, which I probably will send it back before this airs because I really need to do it tonight. I will write below and I'm going to try to get better about going back and writing below what I kept because I know I've missed a few of them that I didn't send out and I waited for y'all's opinions on. 
and didn't get in there somebody pointed it out to me that I hadn't been doing that and I'm gonna try to get better I'm not good at the clerical stuff y'all I don't know what I'm good at but I'm not good at a lot of things I guess being silly and goofy and hopefully making people smile <laughs> maybe I'm good at that but yeah so it's gonna be one of these two tops probably if I keep anything um, but there are certain things about each top that I didn't absolutely love. Like this one had the tie, but I like the material of it. I mean, it's soft. Um, these little fluttery sleeves, I could go without. This, it just looked a little boxy on me, but I feel like I could do something to overcome that. So, I mean, if I send it all back, I only lose a dollar. Or I could just pay five or so more dollars and keep one of these shirts. So I'll just have to make that decision. I always want to hear y'all's feedback. I would love it if you, while you were giving your feedback down there in the comment section, if you would go ahead and press all those lovely YouTube buttons, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribing to my channel is free, so I really do appreciate it if you do press that red subscribe button down there. Thank you so very much if you do. Don't forget to tell everybody, tell your friends about the channel, press that little share button. And also, if you would like to contribute to the cause, give your creator a tip. There are two different ways to do that now. You can use the Super Thanks, which is through YouTube. There's a button down there with all them other ones where you can give me a tip. Or you can buy me a cup of coffee. There is a link below in the description for that. Y'all, thank you so very much. Have a wonderful day and God bless.